Okay, so I just wanted to tell you that Parkstone released a new Ultra Micro Polecat. Now, if many people are not really familiar with the Polecat, uh, it's I'm not either, either. But um, now I know. I just read about it. Uh, it's Parkstone's first Ultra Micro series Formula One airplane. The Polecat is a slippery little racer that you can fly just about anywhere. It says right under the name. Uh, it's ninety nine dollars. Uh, it's going to be. It doesn't tell when it's going to be. Uh, first out, uh, but it's coming soon. Um, now it has a Spectrum AR6400 DSM2 receiver slash ESC unit, 4 channel control throttle aileron elevator and rudder, has a Spectrum AS2000L ultra micro aileron servo, one servo, uh, 8.5 millimeter coreless, coreless brushed motor, has a tailwheel steering. Now this is sort of like an extra, so it's sort of just like a fancy Sukhoi, in my opinion, but it could be something else. Uh, kind of looks like, yeah, the extra. Um, yeah, so it has tailwheel steering, attractive paint scheme. Yes, it's very attractive. Uh, race number decal sheets. Race number decal sheets. There's a little typo there. Uh, there's a one cell, 150 milliamp lipo battery and DC charger. Now the overview. The Ultra Micro Series Polecat is modeled after the modified Cassett Formula One air racers that complete that compete in the world famous Renault Air Race. It's been spe specially designed. Sorry, I'm tired. Specially designed to deliver all the looks and thrills of these Renault speedsters, yet remain as forgiving as any sport plane. Whether you're banking and yanking around the pylons with the throttle wide open, unwinding with some sport aerobatics, or simply shooting touch and goes, the Polka is a joy to fly at any speed. Uh, now it's built out of the box and it requires a four uh, channel or more DSM2 or DSMX transmitter. Now specifications, uh, this is the same size as any other, other Ultra Micro. 16.1 wingspan uh, inches and then it has a 15.4 inch length. Now the recommended battery is a one cell 150 milliamp uh, one cell lipo. Uh, there's no flaps or retracts, of course, and approximately a, approximate assembly time. I think you have to put uh, the landing gear or whatever. Yeah, there might be some assembly actually. I'm not sure about that, but it's the stay stays six to eight minutes. Uh, and there's a as 2000 linear servos that are already installed and an 8.5 millimeter coreless brushed motor. Uh, now, assembly is not required, they say, but they say approximate assembly time, 6 to 8 minutes, so I don't know what to say. Uh, it's an intermediate experience level. All park zones are intermediate, except for some of them, like the Slovy or something. Uh, it can be full indoor or outdoors, and indoor, they mean like in a gym. And uh, assembly time is less than one hour. A lot of, lot of confusing things on here. So it's on back order, it's $99.99. Uh, it's only going to be available in a buy and fly. Because they don't want people using the stock little cheap transmitter that everyone has that, you know, gets a champ or whatever, then they, they use that. I don't think they want people using that since this is sort of like a Sukhoi, um, and they don't want people using the Sukhoi. Now it comes with everything, charger, battery, batteries for the charger and the plane, uh, with the receiver and all the servos and the uh, motor and stuff in there. Um, so this just been a little quick video, and... Hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna be posting new videos every time a plane comes up from Park Zone, just to let everyone know that you know there's a new plane out and uh, if they could really consider buying it. Cause I'm gonna buy. I'm still trying to decide between the Spitfire and the uh, Habu. Habu's getting a little old, if you know, cause Habu's only fifty dollars, uh, actually a hundred dollars more. But um. Yeah, hun how was hundred dollars? I think it is. Yeah. So uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my future videos. So thank you for watching, and bye.